pie. Yeah. Yeah. Melo talked about a lot of challenges for him. How challenging was this season for you with the way things kind of came together late, putting all the pieces together and it, it, it not turning out the way you guys would have wanted it to turn out? Yeah, uh, challenges. I mean, it was it's challenging every year. You, you face different problems every year with any team, you know. Um, even if you've been with that team, you're just familiar, you know, with the team, I guess. But, like, you still have different problems that need to be fixed. Does that make sense? So I can't point out any specific ones. Um, but I know that we didn't, we didn't go back. We always progress throughout the year. That's always a good sign. Me personally, you guys might have a different opinion, but I, I think we progressed every single, every single time well, throughout the whole year, you know, so. Yeah. As you take a look at this group and you know the possibilities for next season, mm. what would you say are maybe the biggest strides that you all are, are capable of taking that would make an impact in in the game? Uh, I think it's just. Uh, I mean, it just comes down to our chemistry. Obviously, once you if you play long enough with the player, you understand their tendencies, whatnot, <laughs> all those small different reads, um, especially on the defensive end. You know, there's been. A, I noticed uh, when it got close to the end of the year, I know we talk a lot about communication and stuff. Um, sometimes you just know, like, you know, you have those weird positions. It's not ideal. You'd much rather communicate, but still, you're just connected with that play. You know where he's going to go, sort of thing. So, yeah, that connection as a team is, yeah, that's ideal. Um, we could definitely take that on and through next year. I don't know if that answered your, answered your question. Yeah, but yeah. Right. yeah, sure. Steven, when was the last time you got a haircut? Yeah, to do. Um, it's been a really long time, honestly. It's gross. It's gross. Um, it might have been Jen December, December, which is pretty long. It's How pretty much gross. Do you think it would go for on eBay? Holy shit! I don't know. <laughs> people sell their hair on eBay. It's gross. Maybe. <laughs> 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 Yuck. Steven, is the, uh, is the day coming when you're going to shoot three pointers in games? I don't know. Is it something you're working <laughs> for? I mean, Pardon? We, we see you shoot them a lot. I mean, is it something you're, you, you would think about adding? Oh, yeah, but the thing is, just like, it's got to be, like, I'm only going to shoot it if it's good enough for the team to win. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So you could have you could have all the, it's good that if you're very, very versatile and stuff, um, but it comes down to the strategy of the game that's going to ultimately lead to a win. So I ain't just going to jack up a shot just because I feel like it. It has to be, you know, approved by coaches, whatnot, and gone through the, the mix. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Are you yeah. working to get to the point where you think that could be a thing that you could do, like to, where you'd be comfortable enough? I mean, yeah, I mean, I work on I work on everything every, every summer, but I'm comfortable shooting it. I mean... Tough part is just making them, you know. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, so that's the only part. So, yeah. But I'll shoot them. I'll shoot the hell out of it. I don't care. Just no, say the word. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I know. So I would shoot them. I would shoot them. Say the word. Exactly. Just do it. So, what are the major components you're going to be working on this summer, as far as your game and improvement, and what you want to, see, where you want to see yourself grow next um, season? I don't know. I mean, every I, th I feel like every player does the same thing, really. With it, I guess a bit more focused on some other aspects of the game, but it all comes down to the same. I always go, I always work on ball handling, shooting, and stuff like that. All the other stuff where you go one on one, um, you know, all the fancy moves and whatnot. I think that it all comes into play um, with the coach. Does that make sense? So he'll put you in a position where you can actually go and do that stuff. Um, so yeah, I, I just work on everything, just because, you know. If you, if you do actually, say hypothetically, you do get to a point where you're, you're actually comfortable and, and you feel like it's best for the team to take threes in a game, Yeah. is that just something you think you're going to bust out? Do you think you're ever going to take mid-range shots? I know you're very analytically aware of that kind of stuff, but do you think it would just be your goal from mid-range to shoot against something like that? Um, maybe. Maybe. It's hard to say. Um, 
If I say when you say me, it's it's not for it's not me. <laughs> I ain't just gonna make a decision to shoot a three. It's, it's it has to be run through you know everyone first and say that this is a good shot or whatever. Um, but yeah, um, the value of it will still be there if if it does get to that point. Like the value of just shooting it, uh, there's still value even if you um, you have to make a certain amount of them, obviously, but. It's just figuring out what their percentage is for teams to actually say, oh, get up on that person. And then that way, you can then go into different actions that put them in a different different bind. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. I have a feeling that you're going to downplay this, but I'm going to ask you anyway. You're, you had like an historic offensive rebounding season. Can you at all be proud of that or, or appreciate what you did on that front? Can I appreciate it? Genuinely, I mean, only 10 people have averaged five offensive rebounds a game in the history of the league since they've been tracking them. Yeah. GG. Feels good. Feels good. A lot of people say Russell's tough to play with. What do you think of that narrative? Oh, I mean, I don't know. It's, uh, it's a, I think it's a weird thing to say. I mean, it really depends on what you mean by tough. No, because we had a, we, we've been having success. Every, ever since he's been with the Thunder organizations, we've been having success. Um, obviously, everyone has their own sort of, they draw the line at different, you know, where a team should be, well, expectations, yeah. Everyone has different expectations of where that, what their team should do, where that, you know, all that stuff. Um, as a player, playing with him, um, like he, it's, it's not difficult at all. It really isn't. Um, he just has very high standards, and you have to meet them. You know, and that's what ultimately makes you successful as a team. What do you think yeah. about the way Russ was able to just adapt once again from last year, completely different team, to now this year with adding Paul George and, and Carmelo? I don't think it was, I don't think it was that hard. It, you're asking him what, his ability to adapt? Yeah, I mean it's, I mean it's good. I mean, yeah, you can give him credit for it. I mean, it's it's expected of him. You know, what I mean, I don't think it's any surprise to anyone, is it? No, I wouldn't think so. But like, yeah, you know, it's something that you you do as a professional athlete. You have to. You got to this point by making a bunch of d- adaptions anyway, for whoever you played for. So be weird if you can't. You know, that'll be more weird than him actually making an adaption. Does that make sense? Good. God. English is hard. for this uh, summer? I don't know, mate. Uh, I mean, obviously, I don't have any plans. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, just got to figure them out. Yeah, a couple of days or so, or a few, a few days, just figure out what's what's going on. Definitely, um, probably pop into Japan though. Get a good old bowl of ramen. Well, oh, it's always nice. Um, yeah, but yeah. Billy really credited summer that you had last summer as being a huge step forward for you and I was curious whether there was anything maybe that you felt was a breakthrough for you last summer or anything you did um, to really help elevate your game um, nothing different from any other summer no not that at all year old year long. let's go with that let's go with that mate Season workouts, do you stress agility at all? It seems like as you played more with Russell, you become one of the more agile big men in the league. Uh, yep. Yep. Anybody else? Yep. Oh, Stephen. Oh, this might seem like a weird question, but um, shocking. <laughs> <laughs> From whom? I, yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, What's an exit interview like? Not with us, but like with Sam, with Billy. What's that like? Um, I don't know, just a normal sit-down chat. Just a big debrief, really. You know, you just go on about what what happened in the throughout the year, what we thought was successful, uh, what can we work on, stuff like that. Normal kind of meeting stuff, I guess. You know? Yeah. Okay. Anybody else? Steve, is there last? Is the last one? 
we make a whole big thing about the recruitment of Paul George with Paul's upcoming free agency. Is that a thing? Do you feel like there's like you guys are recruiting him, or do you just treat him like another teammate? Um, I don't know. I personally wouldn't say recruiting, just because I've heard recruiting used like it ain't like college recruiting. I guess that's how I view recruiting like that. Does that make sense? So. I treat him as a teammate because we've always been around him this whole year. So we treat him as a teammate and stuff like that. So whatever your, the latter was that you said, sir. So, yeah, I guess that. All right. Thanks, Stevie. Didn't answer it, eh? <laughs> <laughs>